A big hello and welcome to you all. My name's Sam and in these videos we're going to cover all things gift wrap. I'll be covering how to's, tips and ideas of what to do using items out there on our high street. So let's crack on with today's video. Morning everyone, hope you're doing well. Um, today I found this really, if you can see, pretty bee paper in Asda. So it was one pound for three meters. And sorry, slide that back for you. Bit of a wobble on there. And it's got, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, the little honeycomb bits are in a, a metallic gold. If I move it around so you can see. So I thought we'd do some wrapping, so spring inspired wrapping. You can use possibly for Mother's Day or birthdays coming up and try some different types of toppers. Um, yeah, just to create an interesting present. So here we go. Okay, so now I'm just gonna wrap some presents. Um, I'm not gonna go through how to wrap them. I've covered them in other videos. Um, but then we'll go through sort of embellishing them afterwards to make them a little bit more interesting. Right, okay, everyone, so I've wrapped a selection of presents now in the paper. I'll just talk through, talk you through what I've done. I mean, this is just a standard box wrap all in the, the paper. If you can see it catching the light. It's got a little bit of gold going through that. So it's a standard box. This was one of the, um, in one of my haul videos, I showed you there's a takeout craft boxes, like food takeout boxes that I got from Home Bargains. There were six for £1.49. I did see them in B&M now for six for £2. So. If you're planning on getting them, home bargains is your better bet. Um, but they're great for if you've got some odd shaped items that you wanted to store. I was thinking of for Mother's Day um, gifting for our Mother's Day dinner, all the mummies. So obviously my mum, my sisters, my sister-in-law, some cookies and wrap it in a box. So all the mummies had a special present. So, um, and this would be ideal for that because it just turns out to be about 20 pence a box, um, 20, 25 pence a box. So for a gift box for wrapping an awkward shaped gift, it's a, it's a really good, really good value for money. And as I said, it, as it was just plain craft paper, really, you don't really need to wrap it at all that I have in this instance, and it's, it's fairly straightforward. Um, the only hints and tips I would give on that is just make your first initial folds at the side because you have got that angle there, and then it's just straightforward for the top and bottom. So that's that one. This one, um, I did a pleated wrap. Um, I haven't done a video on this, but there are numerous videos out there on YouTube. Um, it just takes a little bit more paper, not a lot, but it gives it an effect that's, that's quite cute. So that's just a pleated wrap for that one. And this one, if you were wrapping a lot of gifts or you only had one roll of paper or there's, um, the paper was particularly expensive that you wanted, this was just wrapped in the Home Bargains plain craft paper, which was when I bought it, Couple, only a couple of weeks ago, it was 59 pence for five metres. I went in there the other day and it was 69 pence for five metres now, but still, it's a really nice thick paper and obviously still um, good value for money. So what I did with that, and it sort of matches in quite nicely, was just wrap it in the craft paper and just use an off cut of the... Um, B wrapping paper to make a band around the middle. That's also a good idea. Is if you um, if you want to wrap in ribbon, and obviously ribbon's expensive. Um, the thicker the ribbon, the more expensive it's going to be. So if you've just got a thinner ribbon, that 
maybe wouldn't look as effective just on its own. Um, if you create a band and then wrap your ribbon on top, it gives the effect of having that fuller effect, but for less money. And also you could then use the, the thinner ribbons or even for a more uh, better value for money, just go in with either your twine or this was the wool from Poundland, which is three for two pounds. So that's the four wraps I've done. And I'll talk, so ribbon wise, I've got my wool, um, a single faced sort of black satin ribbon there and another sort of single face, but really, really, I don't know, there's a millimeter or something, no. Five mil, I don't know how much it is. What's it say on here? It's 50 meters, three millimeters, this width, so it's tiny, but you've got quite a lot on there, so you can do a wraparound effect. So that's that one. I'm also not sure what I'm gonna use. I've got a wired thick, gold one which would bring out the gold of the honeycomb um this probably not going to use this that's a cream and green that doesn't really go to be fair i've got this wired orange one that might actually look quite nice actually might have a go or something like that and then I was thinking of grass, and I've got this green, but again, I don't think I'm going to use that. I did have a plan of, I don't know if you saw in one of my haul videos, I got some, it was like a runner of fake grass from Poundland, for just a pound, obviously. But I did end up throwing that away because it was literally, the back of it was disintegrating this black rubber as you were unrolling it, it was just like dirt everywhere. It was awful. So, and I thought I didn't want that touching any gifts. So I did throw that away. I know the range, I've got a table runner, which I'm assume wouldn't have that same kind of problem. And that was a metre long by 25 centimetres wide. I think that was three pounds, 3.99. And that'd be quite good because you could just cut that into strips along that meter length and i was thinking you could have a grass bit down the bottom and then create something with the bees going around the edge but i don't have that today what i do have also in my previous hauls were the little sunflowers and they were six 16 sunflowers for 89 pence, I believe, from Home Bargains. So we could make something and fix those around. And also going with that, I had these little bees, which I'm not sure, I'll have to go and check the video, but I think they were something like 59 pence, but I thought they would be quite cute as a topper as well. Um, obviously got my ribbon there and my wool. And also I've got this but again, I don't think I'm going to use that Easter craft brass. But what I would probably do was put this inside there with my decorated cookies and wrap those up. So let's see what we can create. Let's start with this one.
Turn it down to there. tie a few bows Okay, so that's the first one. You could tie some more. You can see it's a bit spider like actually. But again, I mean, that's just a bit of some craft paper, just a band of scrap wrapping paper, and just some really some wool. Alternatively, instead of the spider. So that's one look, lots of bows, or should we pop those, pop some of those off. Get those away. It's quite pretty actually. To go a little bit fuller. This was the pom pom we made out of the same wool. If you can just tie that on. I quite like that one as well. So that's number one. Number two is the pleated one. So again, sort of like with your fingers, if you just run it along, you can either have it standing up or sort of push it the other way to which it's pleated. So this where it's a, it means it's a face like an acetate, really cheap single faced um, black ribbon. It doesn't actually make the best bow. So I don't know whether it's worth just doing a band and then creating sort of lots of bows with this. Let's have a that go. See this tape is wider than the, the ribbon but you can sort of roll it back in once it's sort of come off so 
just goes and obviously both sides are sticky so you can be hidden away that way make sure you've got the shiny side up down to adjust it so all your loops are a similar size Yeah, that's that one. So maybe trim these to be the same size. I'm going to fold this over here just so it's not quite as thick. Get it out the sides. to make my loops. I'm going to use some of this. Just make sure I just get it tailored. So yes. get some of these. Just pick up black. I mean, this is so thin, you'll probably be able to pick it up quite cheaply. And if not, just use some of the water. standard bow that I've shown in videos before off cut ribbon so I'll just make as many loops as I've got spare ribbon
okay so this is using the the loops and the tails to give a kind of flower effect i'm going to use my sunflower to go in the middle um you do see on lots of videos people just going in with the hot glue gun to um to fix some of the toppers i i i really don't like doing that for the sheer reason for the sheer reason that once you go into this so this is the middle any hot glue going into here is going to get all over that ribbon and you're not going to be able to reuse that ribbon and the whole point of a lot of the stuff i try to do is a to save some money to get the same effect save some money and giving yourself or the person you're gifting the gift to an opportunity to reuse um, the items that are there so we're pulling in our this ribbon now I mean it's, you can see there's a little stalk on these and if you just tip that right into the boat I mean that's not going to come off and the flowers reusable should someone want to and also the ribbons reusable so that's what i like about just finding different ways of doing it um of course if you've got a doing a band of ribbon so where's my black so if on here i was just going to do a band of black and fix it depending on how big the present was Whereas normally I would fix it underneath. If I was going to hot glue and then hot glue my embellishment on top, I would, because that's going to be hidden, I would be tempted to sort of do my glue here. So it's only that, that very end that's being affected by the, the glue and is unused born, so you can cut that off. And then, I mean, obviously it's only a small scrap, but then you've still got ribbon that can still be used. So that's why I don't personally like using hot glue guns on when you're using ribbon. Unless you're going to do it this way and then fix your doing embellishments, flowers, whatever, all on the top. You can go away, just knock yourself out of the hot glue gun there. It's just going to go on the ends of these little things and they're sort of just or less than 10 pence each um, and you're only affecting a tiny little bit of the ribbon so that's my view anyway okay and I think actually I quite like that effect so I think on this one I'm not going to use a little hot glue gun but because I haven't got it out basically but if I just show you So any hot glue going on here is only, only going to affect those two tiny ends. Whereas if you did it the other way round, you've got hot glue right in the middle of that bit of ribbon. So. so we want to centre this because... Tape on there. Actually, if I don't have to do it that way. Again, when you're affixing, when you're using ribbon, the aim is to cover these end bits down, A, just to hide them, and B, in case they were starting, to, in case they become unstuck. So I've gone with the thick band across ways, but I am pulling in tight with my thin band there. And again, with this one. It's just, just making the whole gift a little bit more secure.
Okay, roll that in. I don't need to be seeing that. Call you a bit and taut. Get it all lined up. And there you go. Right, stick these down. Actually, what I'll do is another thing that I've got. This was from, again, with one of the hauls. Actually, I quite like that. In Poundland, they did a garland. So there were six of these little honeycomb balls. I mean, obviously, if you're doing a garland, you do them all the way around. Um, on ribbon, in all the sort of primary colours and stuff. So six for a pound, so that's 15 pence each. So you just basically, I've sort of trimmed, there's the ribbon there, just trimmed the ribbon. Got a little bit of double-sided tape there. You're gonna to have to add your own or glue gun away if you want to glue gun. But just open it halfway. I don't think it really makes a difference. And then you've got that's sort of like a really pretty almost like a sun effect. I mean you don't need the flowers. You could add a little bee on there. I think that's lovely, so if I just pop some of that down. Put a little bit of tape at this end. Just a tiny little bit of tape on that one. Again, it's all paper. I mean, this is just sort of tissue paper inside, so it's all recyclable. It's just a centered. This, these are just little felt and cardboard. This comes with little, oops. Okay, press it down. This comes with a little sticky back thing as well. Let me just stick that. And I think I'll put them down. Down there. Yeah, that will just pop them down there. That'll just temporarily. Yeah, actually, just peel the back off. So I've got my little bee effect still going. There you go. And there's my fourth gift. So this is my bee inspired gifting. So again, let me just talk you through the bee wrapping paper came from Asda and it was one pound for three meters. Um, the craft paper was well now 69 pence for five meters from home bargains. That was an off cut scrap of the bee paper. This wool, which I made the pom pom with as well, were three balls for two pound from Poundland. Um, this ribbon, the thick one and the thin one, I've had years really, but the thin one's going to be really, really cheap because a thin ribbon is really, really cheap. You can get that off eBay, Hobbycraft, probably quite good for stuff like that. Um, I know these single face sort of acetate ribbons this thick, they've got them in quite a few colours in Hobbycraft. And I think that's a 20 meter roll, and they're a pound on there. Um, again, I used the single face ribbon there. These bees were, I think, about six or eight for less than a pound 89 pence, I'm gonna say. Um, home bargains. This honeycomb ball was part of a garland in the party section, so the garland is a pound and with six so these are about 15 pence each um oops the thin ribbon again this ribbon was a couple of years ago i think from costco and that 
that's usually about eight pound for 50 meters um this is just an off cut i've had that i've saved from previous presents the thin ribbon again and again these little sunflowers which were 16 for 89 pence so that's about five pence each so as you can see we've, we've wrapped our gifts i mean and then if you just do a mixture and throw just some plain ones in with maybe just a band on craft paper just a band of the themed wrapping paper you can create quite a sort of coordinated selection all looking a little bit different but for not a lot of money so i hope you enjoyed turn me, turn me a little bit the right way around i hope you enjoyed this little um themed wrapping process and it's giving you some ideas for stuff that you want to do yourself i'm going to use some other papers and theme that wrapping as well just to give you some more ideas if there's some i was going to look for some jungle animals and try and do a sort of jungle theme one as well um because i think that'd be quite cute but if there's any kind of themes that you want me to go down I'll see if I can see some papers to mix and match to give you some ideas for some themed birthday wrapping. But again, I think this is quite cute for Mother's Day. But I think bees are quite topical really at the minute. They're cute. They're very spring and summer-like. So I think it, it makes a really pretty little gift. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's given you some ideas of stuff and different ways that you can wrap your own gifts. Um, not necessarily, it doesn't have to be bee themed, but different ways to tie different toppers in to wrap your gifts prettily, but bear in mind we're tr trying to keep to a budget as well. Um, so if this was of use to you and you'd like to see some more, I'd really appreciate if you could like and subscribe, leave some comments below on any other bee themed ideas you may have that we could have incorporated in this video that you've seen in the high streets around at the moment and I'll catch up with you next time. Thank you all. Goodbye.